Christ reveals himself through the beauty of each and every one of our cultures. We are vibrant, we are alive, we are still here, and our voices need to be heard. I tell people that either I'm a Christian Indian or an Indian Christian, and it really doesn't matter how it goes. As long as in my heart I know who God is and know that I am his child. Pope Francis has repeatedly asked Catholics to go to the peripheries to help those in need. And among those peripheries on our own continent are Native American communities. In response, the Knights of Columbus began a new initiative to get to know Native Americans, and especially Native American Catholics, by cooperating together on projects, learning more about their culture and their history. We know that there's a lot of negative history in the interaction between the Native people and the peoples who came from Europe. But at the same time, one of the positive things that took place is that the gospel did come to the America, to the people of the Americas, to the people to whom I belong. The gospel of Jesus Christ has been thriving among Native people since it was first brought here. Our faith is deep, our faith is long-standing, and that story needs to be told if you're gonna tell the story of Catholicism in America. But more importantly, that faith needs to be shared and, that, and people need to know that we're here and that we're here to share our faith with you. Native peoples have a deep sense of the sanctity of human life and the sacredness of God's creation. We can learn much from them about respect, wonder, and gratitude toward nature. And there is also a need for reconciliation with Native Americans. This need is hidden from many Americans by the fact that so many Native communities are isolated. We need to get to know each other better. And this in turn depends upon an honest appraisal of history. A natural place to begin, which actually may be a supernatural place to begin, is with people of faith. People of faith should be able to approach each other with a sense of solidarity, respect, and humility. Communities of faith can have a fraternal affection, more like a family, where honest conversations can lead to better understanding and to reconciliation, rather than to confrontation.